Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube, and let's be honest here, only people who have heard of Rule the Waves and Rule the Waves 2 are actually probably going to be watching this video. I highly doubt people who have not heard of these games will actually be watching this video unless my channel somehow gets really big in the future, or if you're one of the relatively fewer number of subscribers I have who I don't think care about this game. I am no name 117 spore and in this video today I will be starting my first ever playthrough of Rule the Waves 2. This playthrough will be as Austria-Hungary and it will go span from 1900 until 1955 which is the normal length of the game. This playthrough was live streamed on Twitch which unfortunately means it's going to be in 720p. Um, the next Rule of the Waves 2 series I'm going to do will be in 1080p. I was not confident about streaming in 1080p when I live streamed this, but now I am. Uh, so yeah, this whole thing's going to be in 720p. This, uh, this series will also take place across three separate versions of the game. Uh, which would be the very first three releases, which means that what's going to be shown in these videos is an outdated version of the game compared to where it is at today. <coughs> so this introduction is going to be a little longer than the other ones. The other ones are going to be a little more simple. I do want to remind people of what the series is in the other introductions, but this one, you know, I need to kind of outline what I'm doing. So... In terms of that, the video length is going to be, I'm hoping for about 15 to 30 minutes. About 15 to 30 minutes in video length. This video specifically is going to be longer. I think this one's going to be closer to 40 minutes. But the successive one should be closer to 15 to 30 minutes. And what I intend to do is, like any moderate to major battles, I kind of want to put in their own episode, although I'll probably put uh, several turns around them or maybe combine some smaller battles in with them, but if I have, like, I, I don't want to do, like, two large or moderate battles in the same episode. Maybe if one of them's, or maybe if they're both shorter, I could do that. Um, so that's prop that like kind of the moderate battles is probably where you're going to get the closer to 15 minute long episodes. I think normally you're going to get the closer to 20 to 30 minute long episodes. And the other thing I'm going to do is well, at the, at the start of the series or at the start of the introduction here. Right now you should be looking at a picture of the YouTube video thumbnail. And I don't know if I'm going to keep that up. That's kind of like my default thought on what image to put on the introduction. Now, if there is any art created for the series, in which case there actually is already a little bit of art created for the series, uh, that will be put in these introduction sections. That will be the picture displayed. But I want to hear your opinion. Should I use the video thumbnail when I don't have any art to show? Or... Should I, like, find a relevant historical picture? Like, say, for this episode, it would be, say, a, a uh, Austro-Hungarian pre-dreadnought. Austro-Hungarian pre-dreadnought picture. Should I do that? Or should I just do the uh, thumbnail? When, you know, there really isn't any art to show. And any art which is shown, which isn't made by me, will be given with credit. That will be something I do. So yes, uh, with all of that, I think that should do it. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. This time we are going to be starting to build our fleet, and then going on a, uh, a journey of learning about this game and how it works and playing through it for the first time. Thank you all for uh, watching, and I hope you enjoy the journey. New game, 1900, Austria-Hungary. Uh, okay. Very large, 100% research rate, historical resources. This will be game... No, no. 
I'm going game two. Because game two last time had legendary battles for me. Manual build of the legacy fleet. Other than that... I think it's ready to go. I can barely contain my excitement. Oh my god, new game. Ah, sorry, sorry for no face cam this time. Usually I have that. This time I just don't. But, ah, this game I don't think needs it. Alright, to build an existing fleet. So this will start out much, much like uh, World of Waves 1. Ah, so we have a uh, limited dock size. It's... This is going to be difficult getting used to right here. Um, unfortunately, the sore thing's covering up. But having only, uh, you know, that many funds and that much balance... Yeah, crest a stupid CA design. Yep. Oh, they have these labeled. That's so nice. Alright, so let's start with a pre-dreadnought. And we are going to get something which is crappy. So we want better guns. More more of that. Uh, we can build up to 13,000 in tonnage. Uh, so we can probably get normal accommodations rather than cramped. Very effective or fail misery. What uh, CA design are you interested in? I'm curious. I'm going to increase the turret armor. I'm going to decrease the size. Um, I like the asymmetric funnels and superstructure option, though. How you can just click those now. Now, we are going to keep these symmetric for now. Oh, they've, they have massively improved the shipbuilder here. What I want to see is how many lines can I do per thing? How fancy can I make this? Look at how fancy it is! Little porcupine to casemates, 8 inch main, 7 inch secondary, 6 inch tertiaries. That would be terrifying! Uh, it would probably fail miserably. Uh, miss okay, that's max points. So you can go up to 12 points now. That's two, that's three, that's four. But, we can still take five. Um, and then do... You know what? I'm going to redo one. This makes me happy. This makes me so happy. So I was always one who does this. Which actually, you know what? This is going to be fine here. Um, yeah, we can do this. Mediterranean, it might wreck the Italians. Yeah, it might. I mean, the Italians are going to have to be the first people we go up against here. Naturally. Uh, Austria-Hungary cannot... Uh, <coughs> yeah, Austria-Hungary does not exactly like Italy. Very much. I'm hoping for some really good battles in this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little uh, one of whatever these things is called back there because I have the extra thing and then I have an extra one. I have an entirely different one to work with so we can add like a little mast or something. So this isn't that much more detailed than the original ones, but it's a little bit. It's got a little bit more details, and I like that. I can I can work with this a lot more. Uh, so we're not going to... Oh, additional armament. It actually has the torpedo mounts there. That's cool. Yeah. I think this is a decent battleship. Uh, how much does it cost to build? Uh, it costs that much. So for now, I'm going to leave that sitting there. I am going to go to the CA. So in terms of... I'm probably not going to do the stupid CA design. What sort of guns do we have? We do not have 8-inch guns! That is interesting! I think this game's modeling this a little better now. 10-inch um, guns are negative 1 quality. 9-inch guns are negative 1 quality. Ooh... I 
I think there's every reason for going 10 inch. I think we should go 21 knots. You use turrets and less guns. Yeah. Well, we're going to want a larger armored cruiser here. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe what we do is we go with a little bit of a smaller one. Normal and short range. Um, and then just kind of rely on these getting scrapped. How many points is it giving us here? Oh, the other, the other thing I'm thinking about for asymmetric superstructure. Because that's mostly planned to be used for carriers. But, Von der Tan, Invincible, those all had, like, in the middle, like, in this area here, they all had this kind of weirdly shaped thing because of their uh, cross-deck firing turrets, just to uh, very slightly improve the uh, firing arcs of the turrets, I would believe. Or maybe to make them train a little better, I don't know. One of the two. Alright, so our 6-inch guns, uh... Let's go up to 12. This might be a CVL conversion in the future. Um, or it could be scrapped. It'll probably be scrapped. Let's be real. I actually fully... Okay, so that's 2, and that's 1. So that means 3 and 4 are not placed. So let's do 3 as this whole thing here. Um... So that means I do that, 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 that. Ah, oh, it is so much nicer. Beforehand, I had to do this uh, really odd thing where I, I'd only be able to get like one of these in on the bow and rear. Now I can get two. So that makes me happy. Um. So back here, we're going to kind of do a little bridge. Uh, I'm going to move that bridge even further back. Because I'm going to make the most of all this. Whew. Actually, that bridge looks a little too fancy for the rest of the design. Do you have seven inches? Um, I believe I do. I'd rather stick with the 6-inch guns early on. I'm, I'm a fan of 6-inchers. I'm not a big fan of 7s. Um, I think 6-inchers, you have a better shot against lighter ships. Um, although maybe not early on. Maybe early on that's 7-inchers, and you only... That only really swaps... When, uh... Shells start getting heavier. God, look at all this. Um, so back here. Do you know what I'm going to do with 5 is I'm going to convert it into the same thing that 6 is. Yeah, there we go. At 8 and 7 I saw a CL design that wrecks. Yeah, it might wreck. Very well. Um, this is a nice, pretty average starter armored cruiser. It's good. This, this I would put in fights against other armored cruisers. Unlike most of the ships Austria-Hungary starts out with. Uh, yeah, so how much is it worth? Uh, it's only slightly less than our battleship, so yeah. And now I'm probably going to want to design a uh, light cruiser. This seems like a pretty extreme light cruiser to start out with. I'm going to go with a different design. Are they actually giving me good light cruiser designs at the start? Oh. Good job. Uh, it's an early game. It's probably still somewhat buggy. Yeah, we haven't developed turrets in those positions. Um, I think the cruiser design is bugged. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to decrease that. We're going to start with some small light cruisers and then have a uh, second set of larger ones. Uh, decrease the belt, decrease the conning tower, uh, normal engine priority, 23, ah, no, 22 knots. Uh, 
Yeah, this is remarkably average. And then we're going to have a couple of these, and then we're going to have some of a better class. Alright, so what else? So that's that, that's that. Um, so structure 4 I don't even think is being used here. Let's use it. So structure 4, what we will do is... Uh, we will do something like that, 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 go down to the end of there, and then across. Structure 5 is just kind of going to be a uh, box on the stern here. And like that, and then structure 6, I might do a little uh, thing on top of the stern. Like that. I'm probably kind of wasting these, but this is more de- or this is kind of more detail than you could go into before. I'm trying to live stream this as well, so, you know, I do actually want to get on to the game tonight. I'm probably only going to be live about two hours, maybe not quite that much. Um, let's save Zenta, and let's build two Zentas. Uh, I'm going to build a third. Is the yeah, three Zentas, and then open the design again. What we want to do for our next design is we want to go with six inches. We we'll can go 23 knots. And see what we can get out of that. We can get a 6,000 tonner. I'll stick with the five inch guns. Okay, so you are structure two. I'll just rebuild uh, structure two as as it was. No, oh, no, structure one, I'm moron. Sorry, not structure two. I was rebuilding structure one anyway, so... You know, didn't screw up that much. There we go. That's good. And we have a lot of extra weight to play with, so... You know, let's, uh... Let's play with that weight. Um... Actually, all we can do is really get those... Uh, we'll shrink the ship down slightly. Yeah, that, that gives me enough room for upgrades and a uh, pretty decent uh, fire. I might do four three-inch guns on this guy and increase it just a little bit. It's just a new name. Admiral Spawn. Yep, that's good. Get us three of them. Citadel armor? Uh, hold on, open design. What was it? Cunning? Cunning tower armor was three inches. I'm, I'm, I'm content with that. There's still a little bit there. You still, you know, you still want a little bit. And besides, that is pretty historical. Okay. Can't design submarines at the beginning, just like Rule of Waves 1. No reason to expect that. We are not... I do not want to design an armed merchant cruiser. I want to design a destroyer. Thank you, game. Um, this graphic is odd. This is definitely going to have to be changed. So, I do like starting out with speed for engine priority. I take it we cannot build 600 ton destroyers. So I want to stick with the 500 ton. Now, that being said, I do not like this design. For a multitude of reasons. Now, let's go to additional armament. Uh... Let's delete our two torpedo tube mounts and then add in W and R. And that'll shift them slightly back. Yeah. And then what we want to do is... No, no, no. Probably F and G. Unfortunately, our ship is moving slightly too fast, so I'm going to want to reduce that. And then I'm going to get a second funnel and a third funnel there and there. So this is a little bit better. I would say. Right, which one's the aft one? There we go, three. So three will just kind of curve it around the tor or torpedoes a little bit. Um, 
We still want to have that room back there. Alright, cool. This is still a little oddly shaped. What? I'm gonna Google early destroyer. Uh. Okay, destroyer. 1900. Images for destroyer 1900. Uh. P. Right, so they did just. Does kind of look like they just had a platform up there to stand on and that's probably the platform we see here on the other hand which one is that that's two here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take this platform roughly copy it on the four now the very interesting thing is I actually don't bother with the side views of my ships you will you are not gonna see me spend a lot of time with the side views of my ships. But I modified the crap out of the top views. Alright, there we go. Two has been translated into four, and then what we will do from there is uh I'm gonna have something like say this maybe kind of around the funnels. Yeah, and then that's three, and then that's four, and then five and six are probably just going to be left untouched. Well, you know what? No. No, no, no. Because I can do that. I don't think there's anything... Uh... You know what? They gave us six. We're going to use it. So what am I going to do with six? I kind of want to create almost the illusion of a curved aft. So what we'll do is we'll do something kind of like that, maybe. And then... Something like that. Yeah, that looks that looks like the ship has a uh, bit of a tumble home on the aft side. So this will be the Panther Destroyer. I think it is a perfectly acceptable design. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to get probably a core of three battleships. Uh, I don't need to design any more ships. This will be my initial fleet. Uh, with a core of a couple of armored cruisers, two for the start, destroy, uh, destroyer-wise, at the very least we want eight. Actually, I probably want 12 to start us out with. That's even a little low. Uh, so, we can squeeze out another armored cruiser. We can squeeze out another battleship. So that gives me four battleships and three armored cruisers. Um... We can probably get another uh, one of these guys and then finish up our destroyer complement. This feels weird, because in Rule the Waves 1, this would be a fleet I would love to have as Austria-Hungary. Actually, how much does it take to uh, build docks? Because I'm going to build docks. Alright, continue. Yeah? That is a decent initial fleet. That is pretty good. Or would be in Rule the Waves 1 for Austria-Hungary. Usually you get absolute crap battleships as Austria-Hungary and, uh, you know, every single ship you have is just, uh, practically every single ship you have is bad. Alright, so, ships under construction. Uh, this is costing us that much per month. I think it is uh, realistic that we would be building at least another battleship. We'll order one battleship built. Uh, let's just order... that. That complement. And then build whatever money we have left to spend. Okay, I already have docks built. I, I do need some more money for research, though. 
I think this is good. Yeah. Oh, it actually has an ASW rating. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a fleet exercise button, so you can do all of that stuff. That's fun. That's really fun. Research up to 12% now. Yeah, I'm only going to set it to 10. So, what do we need more of? Um, we're Austria-Hungary. We need better naval guns. At the very least. AP projectiles. Trying to get ship design. Damage control is always good. Although, ah, we're fighting in the Mediterranean. Damage control is always good. Subs and ship design. I'm not a big fan of the submarines, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, that's kind of very passive play. And I like playing this active. Um, keep fire control on high. I want one of these three. I don't want all three of them. I'm setting a lot of stuff on high at this point, which is a little worrying. Um... Actually, that should probably be on high, and then I'll set one of these on high, and then that'll be it. So that will kind of have like a two-tier system, which is usually what I work with. So we'll have some on medium, and then some on high. Makes sense, especially Adriatic Sea. Yeah, but I tend, I tend to not... How I tend to win wars is by winning the battles in them. That's typically how I did it in Rule the Waves 1. I didn't do a lot of... Uh, submarine sort of stuff. It was always try to get good battleships, fight opponents I can actually take on, so you know, not them. Them primarily at first, then them probably second. Probably not as much Russia. Although, I don't know. I don't know if they model the Black Sea or not in this. Okay, so... I'm gonna say armor development. My monthly balance actually only slightly decreased. Um, no, no, not 10. I think we get diminishing returns. Uh, Black Sea is still not modeled, but there are there more regions now? Central Pacific, Northern Pacific. No, Black Sea Crimea doesn't exist. Yeah, shame. Um, It does look like there's more regions than before. Um, cause, yeah, this what this all was one region before, and this all, um, these two same, these two are the same, these three are the same. I think this got divided, like this and this are now split. So it does make the colonial war a little better. Looks like. Uh, Italy has a lot more territories, though. I will say. Yeah, I definitely noticed more territories here. Because Italy in the previous game has like that, that, and that. But now they have that, too. And apparently, both coasts of Italy are counted. The east and the west coast. And, wait. Okay, yeah, we have two parts of Austria-Hungary. That's Albania. We want to grab Albania. Greece is now in the game. I didn't think Greece was in the game before. Albania likes to upheave itself when you play as Austria-Hungary, but either you or Italy usually gets it. Any other areas? Uh, was Hainan one before? I don't know. Looks like this area got a little more complex. Samoa, um, Bougainville. Yep, that's all nice. What's that right there? That's Polynesia. A little more in here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if there's more in the Caribbean or not. Yeah, it does does look a little improved. Uh, was Morocco? Morocco had to be in the game before. Yeah. So yeah, little improvements there. I mean, we'll get to the carriers, and that's going to be the big improvement of this game. Alright, so those are our ships under construction right now. Now, we are not at high tensions. Now, I want to try to provoke Italy into war. What, do, what does Italy have? 
Italy is trying to starve us out via cruiser warfare. Unfortunately, it looks like all of their cruisers are worse than ours. Now, they have a lot more, but in an even fight, our cruisers are going to win. Although, that should be said. Okay, I'm not scared of their uh, light cruisers. Their light cruisers are very are heavier than mine. But in terms of armament, it seems like Italy just designed them to go really fast and do nothing else. They can run away from Mars, but they can't fight them. Italy cannot... I don't think Italy can fight us here. In terms... <sighs> oh, 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 Italy gets crap battleships now. Yeah, AA guns before planes are invented, Nostradamus or approves. Oh! Oh, Italy gets, like, old Austria-Hungarian battleships at the start now. Oh, you... You are gonna have fun fighting me. France doesn't even start with a battleship anymore. What? I mean, France was very, very big about the uh, cruiser warfare thing. But he didn't think they were so big that they wouldn't actually start with any battleships. Now that being said, France is kind of our second enemy. This is scary. This is a bit scary. Um, the tiny bee looks like something out of Tokyo Drift. Yep. Uh, your chat message area, or the chat message area is very, very weird. That is not what I'm grabbing. Let me see if I can move it. Um... There. There, that'll work for this room. I need to get, like, separate scenes for, uh, different games going, but I just, I don't have that. <sighs> a little tired. It's kind of late. I spent a good amount of time playing, uh, Star Maid and waiting for this to come out, and now it's out, and let's be real here. I am probably white text and white background. Yeah, but I think it's white text with a uh, black outline, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'd actually have to go into Streamlabs to change that, unfortunately. There's another option. Can I just add a solid wall of color? Uh, let's see. Image. Create new. Um, solid wall of non-color. So, apparently I can't create a solid wall of non-color. Uh, what if I went to filters? Add... <sighs> nope. Oh well, that text is just gonna have to, uh, be there as is. It'll be a little annoying to read, but it should have a black outline, so... Not the worst thing in the world. Could be worse. I'll get it fixed next time. So yeah, there's friends. Okay. Okay, Britain. Um... Uh... Okay, of all the nations in the world who own battleships, how am I tied with Britain for having the most? Uh, I'm just gonna quietly submit this into bug reports. Official rule of the waves release. It will be unlocked as soon as the game goes on sale. Well, the game's on sale and we haven't unlocked it yet, so I can't submit it there. The guy's a Gibraldi, though. I'm still laughing at the absurdity of the time. Yeah, this might be one of those, like, uh, ironclad battleship pre-dreadnought sort of thing. Okay, maybe not that far back. Uh... No, I'm gonna... 
This might be something kind of similar. Actually, I want to be careful what I show. Actually, I don't see anything bad on here. I can go to images. I mean, Italy did use battleships with guns like, or with single guns like that. They think these are all Italian battleships. He signed a treaty and then accidentally auto designed a B. <laughs> GG Tortuga, GG. I don't think Tortuga's that great at the game, to be honest. S sorry, sorry, Tortuga. Yeah, but Regina Elena, or the Regina Elena class, I know, had that uh, layout where it is the single fore and aft gun. It's not. But it's not 10 inches. Those are actual proper 12-inch guns. What what are these designed to represent? Previous class battleships. Uh, two times two 12-inch guns. Previous class. Actually, these were built kind of late. I mean, they had one with uh, four times. He started drinking the next time off. It gave him like a 200-foot-long battleship with two front turrets and the superstructure in the back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this game's kind of weird. Like, this design had 10 inch guns, but it had four of them! Like, Italy, what are you doing? Now, this. <laughs> Even this design is more sane! When was this built? 19. or 1895! That's not even a proper turret. That's a barbette. Open top barbette. Be as smaller than your C8. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So there's definitely a problem with the AI producing battleships here. It seems in the 1900 start. <gasps> Look at this. This is heavier armed. The, this thing. It, it has four main guns. I mean. Yeah, sure, they are very obsolete main guns. But they're still main guns. So they took their design they took their design here, decreased the amount of secondaries, decreased the belt and made it faster. And increased the displacement a little bit. Oh my god. This this has to be a bug. I mean, this is the earliest version of the game we are playing here. You know, this is 1.00. This is release. Whenever you get this game, it's just going to roleplay as the 40k orcs. Yeah. Alright, uh... So, what's now? Do I just start uh, going on to the next turn? Or do I try to find a uh, anything to spend that budget on? I think... How much is another light cruiser? That is something to spend the budget on. There we go. Budget is spent. Make a ship with 10 knot max speed and like 30 main guns. That would actually probably do well in uh, Tortuga Simulator for uh, Roll of Waves 1. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.